that's holding um, microwave transmitters next to their head. We can continue to ignore this. Levels are going up, and they're going to continue to go up. And I say that because last year, the federal communication actually made $45 billion selling parts of the spectrum to the wireless industry. And one of the things they've come up with um, are RF emitting uh, thermometers. So you put a soother in a child's mouth, and that will send the cell phone information about what the baby's temperature is. They have the same thing for diapers. The diaper will send the information to the mother's cell phone, telling them um, that the diaper is wet. So if we don't want cell phones next to the head, we certainly want a microwave transmitter inside an infant's mouth. We've had issues in the past, and we've resolved some of these already. Uh, E-smog, I think, is going to be the next big issue. And there's issues with both reproduction and cancer that I haven't talked about. Now, we've done some sperm studies as well. This hasn't been published yet. Uh, but there are over 20 reports showing that it affects sperm and causes DNA damage. And this is just an example of sperm at the top left after one hour um, and at the bottom that's been exposed to RF radiation and after five hours on the right. And I think if you look at the sperm at the lower right, you can see that those guys aren't doing very well. Now, I wanted to lighten this a little bit, so I'm going to show you a little um, uh, music video, and I hope the sound works, uh, called Nuking Your Johnson. They used to say cell phones gave you cancer, but that was like 15 years ago. You've heard the rumors about brain tumors, but your cell phone company says it ain't so. Once in a while, you get a lecture from your mom. Blah, 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 something said by Dr. 